Huh? <laughs> okay. All right, hey guys, you are here with Beck Quinn, and I have my amazing friend Craig Stewart here. Now, Craig is a very good friend of mine, but maybe you guys don't know a lot about him. So today, we're going to be asking you 20 questions, Craig. Awesome. Are you ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they're pretty fun, simple questions. Okay. So, not scaring you too much. Okay, if you had a superpower, what would it be and why? I. Probably the, the power to know everything. Just, Damn. But not not like all the time. Like if I choose when I know, I don't want to know. Sometimes you might not want to know the answer to something. I want to know what the lottery numbers were or yes, whether your flight's going to be delayed or anything like that. Just to know the answer would be cool. And what's been your proudest achievement in your career thus far? Probably finishing my EP. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been a long time coming and it's going to be coming out in a week and it's got better late than never, which okay. makes complete sense because it's taken that long to make. Well, we better all check it out then, so make sure you share all the links to it. Okay, and if there was an artist you'd want to collaborate with, who would it be? Probably Ed Sheeran because he's smashing it right now mm. and my favourite band, Vicky Clyro, I'd love to collaborate with Simon Neal, the songwriter. That yeah. would be amazing. Do you have a little secret talent, other than playing guitar and singing, or a party trick that people don't know about? <laughs> yeah, uh, beer mat flipping. What's that? You know, you know when you go in a pub and they've got the little beer mats that you put your drink on? Oh, the coaster? Yeah, yeah, coaster. Yeah. Like, you've got Australian, sorry. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so the beer mat, you do this thing where you put it on the um, edge of a bar and you flip and catch it. Yeah. I, I can do about 50. 50? Yeah. How big is 50? That's quite what? It's like that. Yeah. That's a lot! Yeah, my dad taught it to me uh, at my auntie's wedding. Okay. Um, and we sat doing I that. want to see a video of this. I don't believe it unless then I've we'll seen a video. cut to a segue of... Let's <laughs> <laughs> cut to a segue of me doing that. Okay. And if not music, what do you think you'd be doing as a career? Film and acting. Okay. I actually have a degree in filmmaking and oh, wow. I did acting before. I didn't know that. Now you know. See, I'm learning things about Craig as I well. Actually, <laughs> I actually co-made co the music video to my song Like a Rocket. Cool. Yeah, so. Okay, and what is your biggest pet peeve? What really grinds your gears? Everything. Uh, Everything. <laughs> spatial awareness. Oh, yeah. Just people oh, yeah. that, like, I don't know, so you stood at a bar and they're like nudging against you, and like, hey, bro, you're kind of, this is my space. Or when people get to the bottom of an escalator in the tube. And just stop. And then just stop. Yeah. They're like looking at the sign, I'm like, what are you doing? Move. <laughs> that definitely annoys me. Spatial <laughs> awareness is definitely a pet peeve for sure. Okay, and if there was a song, um, any song in all of history that you wish you'd written, what song would that be? I Will Always Love You, written by Dolly Parton, but okay. the Whitney Houston people version. Know, people don't think it's written by Dolly Parton. Yeah, it's, I, I always yeah. loved it as a kid. So you could say like, I love it from a nostalgic point of view, but yeah. even to today, I still love it the same amount. Like, there's something about the production and the way that the music and the way she sings just gets to amazing. my bones. And the song's amazing. Okay, and if you could switch lives with one person, dead or alive? Yeah, let's go with dead or alive for day. Uh, Who would it be? I'm not gonna go too historical or political with this. Uh, <laughs> probably The Rock. Oh, yeah. He's just... He's just cool. He's just got an amazing cool. life. He works fucking hard. I'd like to just be that hench for a day. I'd be kind of cool. But he's just super nice and he's got an amazing life. He's always doing yeah. stuff and... Have you seen how much cool. he eats? I think I've seen like, yeah, a video on his Instagram. Yeah, ridiculous. <laughs> but I probably eat the same amount. Yeah. Okay, and what is your musical guilty pleasure? I actually don't believe in guilty pleasures. I genuinely, if I like something, I like something. But if so, I had to say something that like... I would kind of shy away from saying what are the Sugar Babes? Oh, I love the Sugar Babes. Like the early Sugar Push Babe songs. The They've got, like, all of their singles are amazing. Yeah, yeah I, love, I love the Sugar Babes. Okay. Now, the artist or band you're most excited to hear new music from, who would that be? Probably, again, Ed Sheeran, just because I'm always intrigued about like what it is he's going to do next. Yeah. Um, but always Biffy Clyro. I've been listening to them since, since the beginning. Them? Yeah, they're my favourite band and they, they never... They never let anyone down musically, and everything they do still sounds like them, but it's still different. Mm -hmm. And it always takes, for the first time you listen, you kind of go, oh. Okay. But then it's, <laughs> it's a grower. Eventually you're like, oh, okay. Okay. And, yeah, always Biffy Clara. Now, if you're not singing or, you know, at, at gigs, what would you typically do if you had a day off? Day off? Yeah. Uh, nothing. 
Nothing. I'd like to enjoy doing nothing. No, um... What's, like, or well, then what's a hobby of yours? Like, I mean, I think I already know the answer, but, like... Maybe you have a secret one that I don't even know about. <laughs> um, proper downtime. I used to like playing FIFA on my PlayStation just to, like... <laughs> something completely cool. mind-numbing. Yeah, fair enough. Um, I actually don't have a TV at the moment, so I can't even do that. But um, <laughs> I'm always... It's really hard for my brain to switch off, so I'm always really creative. Yeah. So I like to, you know, do film or... I do photography on the side as well, True. but probably just watch something on Netflix. I love, I love movies. Yeah. So actually, you are a movie buff. I'm a, I know you everything. Go to cinema all the time. There you go. That's my cinema. What do I do on a day cinema. off? I go to the cinema. 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 Okay. Now, being a troubadour. Yes. It is obviously your job to know a lot of songs, and mm -hmm. I know you do know a lot of songs. Yeah. So I'm going to put you on the spot. Give me 30 seconds of a tune you think I would like. You. Me. Me uh, personally. <laughs> All right. Uh, Considering you know what I like. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, you know you better okay, watch out. Some guys, some guys are only about that thing, that thing, that thing, that thing, that thing, yeah. Chat, that one. Chat. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. <laughs> Better Lauren Hill always goes. Yes, true, true. All right, now countries you haven't been to before that you really want to go to. What's what's next on your bucket list? Uh, I've always said Mexico, but I did actually fly to Mexico on my way to Colombia in February, but I didn't get to go unfortunately. And visit so I will go probably, but I would say number one now is Tokyo. Okay. I've just I've got a few friends that have been and just from a photography point of view there's so many amazing lights and the view and their oh, yeah. culture is so cool it's very different to anybody, yeah it's it? so surreal and they're such a mate like they're so nice Japanese people Aww. are so friendly now I think I already know the answer to this but who is your celebrity crush Mila Kunis you were, you were <laughs> and that. Ella Eyre yeah Love the, I love big hair. Yes, you do, don't you? Yeah, I do love big hair. The lioness she is. She is a lioness. Now, if you had three celebrities you could invite to dinner, who, who would they be? I mean, I kind of named one already, so The Rock. Yeah, He'd okay. be awesome. Uh, Jamie Foxx. Yep. As I'm sure you know, my, my most searched thing on YouTube is anything Jamie Foxx related. Yes. He's got the most ridiculous boys. So I'd have him as like a musical guest as well, so like he can play some... And an actor. Amazing actor, of course, but I'd have him like... Cause he's really funny, I think he'd be really good to hang out with, but he can kind of, in the break, or we're waiting for dessert, he can play some songs on the piano. And Serenade, maybe, maybe Jimmy Fallon. Oh, I love Jimmy Fallon. Because I, really like, <laughs> I really want to talk to him about guests that he's he met. He is so funny. Yeah, he's yeah, great. I'm a fan. Okay, and what is your favourite animal? I, I actually have no idea what your favourite animal is. Okay, it used to be, it's still up there, but chimpanzees were always my favourite because they're just so cute and they're so nice yeah. and they're the closest thing to us, obviously. <laughs> but I would say an eagle. An eagle? I've got an eagle on my ring. But they're kind of scary. But they're just so <laughs> proud and they're just, they're like, they look amazing and they can see like their prey from a mile away. Yeah. Which is, imagine just being like, where's the Nando's? And you just go, I know, you can see it a mile Ooh. away. Great. <laughs> okay, three things you can't live without. Oxygen and water. Well, obviously. Uh, my guitar, for <laughs> sure. Guitar. Yeah, okay. I, I, I even if I go on holiday, I take my guitar with me. Yeah. Um, three things I can't live without. Food. I know we need food, but I love food. Foodie. I'm a foodie oh, all the way. Yeah, so guitar, food, and... I'm going to say my phone only because I just want to be able to contact my family. Because yeah, I, I, as somebody that travels a lot, I don't always get to see. I've got three nieces now, so just yeah. being able to get an update. If I, cause I, can't, I can't go back for two or three weeks, it's nice yeah. to just see how they're doing. Every time I go away, they've learned to do a new thing and I miss it. So. Aw, no, that's fair. Contact with my family. And what would, so yourself now, what would you tell 10-year-old um, Craig? <laughs> uh, what advice would you give to him? I would probably just say, I wouldn't say a lot because I wouldn't change anything because I think mm. life is about the things that you do wrong. Yeah, for so a reason. To learn Everything from. Um, reason. I would probably just say, it's going to be all right. Okay. I would say, yeah. Fair. And what would people be surprised to know about you? Even me, surprise me. Like, what would I not know about you? Um, oh, probably always my age. 
Oh yeah, that's I meet true, people yeah. a lot in bars, <laughs> and when you get chatting, they they always ask how old I am, and I always say guess. And a lot of people say between the youngest is twenty two, which is just ridiculous. I mean, you, normally around twenty seven, I get twenty seven a lot. Yeah. But I'm thirty three, soon to be thirty four. So my age is always the one that just surprises. It's a secret. It's a big secret. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. <laughs> I just told you. Okay, and last question. Yeah. What is the ultimate goal for you? Holy shit. Uh, Pretty hard question. <laughs> yeah, I want that goal. To be honest, I'm pretty happy in life right now, but what I want to be able to do is what I'm doing now, but with playing my own songs. Obviously, yeah. as you know, I make a living from yeah. traveling the world, playing covers, which I love. I still get to make a living from singing and playing music. Yeah. I just want to be able to do it just doing my own songs. So traveling, touring, but making kind or of the same money that Stewart. I make that. Yeah, it's Craig Stewart, not Clay Wonderwall. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I think we'd all... I'm yeah, that. great song, but stop asking me to play it. <laughs> Ten pounds. I'll play it when I'm ready. Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, that's all the questions. That was twenty questions with Craig Stewart. Yes, thanks. It was. I know. Thanks for having yeah. me.